Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here, and by now you may have heard, but James Comey has been fired and received the infamous line from Donald Trump, you're fired, as he used to say on The Apprentice. Uh, but the reason why, well, that's even more interesting. Check out this report from www.LibertyWritersNews.com by Danny Gold titled, Breaking Trump Just Fired FBI Director Comey after he did something unforgivable to Congress. The report goes on to detail that former director Comey mishandled the amount and effort of the Hillary Clinton emails found on Huma Abedin's husband laptop. Comey had originally claimed that the FBI had discovered hundreds of thousands of Clinton's emails on Anthony Weiner's laptop, but as it turns out, well, it was only a handful of her emails. Now, the recommendation came from Attorney General there, Jeff Sessions, to President Trump, saying that he should terminate him. And in response, Donald Trump uh, agreed to the termination process and wrote a letter to uh, James Comey, former director James Comey, that stated this. Well, I greatly appreciate you informing me on three separate occasions that I am not under investigation, I nevertheless concur with the judgment of the Department of Justice that you are not able to effectively lead the FBI. It is essential that we find new leadership for the FBI that restores public trust and confidence in the vital law enforcement mission. I wish you the best in your future endeavors, signed President Donald J. Trump. Well. All that to say this, look, I can't stand Hillary Clinton as much as the next guy. She's a witch, she's evil, and she's freaking wicked if you ask me. And here's the thing, whether it was 100,000 emails or a handful of emails, well, you know, as it sits, we still need to go after the woman. Can we please put her behind bars and in an orange suit? I'm like waiting for that, or at least fire her, get her down. I mean, do something, do something. Uh, but yet nothing is being done. Meanwhile, James Comey has been taken down for, uh, well, let's just be frank. He was not being honest to Congress. He lied straight up to Congress. That's it. That's what happened. And that is not a good thing for someone who is leading the FBI department. It shouldn't be there. It shouldn't happen. So either way, he's been taken down. I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts on that. What's your take? What do you, uh, what do you feel about it? But it's all about uh, him not being forthcoming with Congress. They're not telling all the information or telling more information. I should say hundreds of thousand people versus just a handful. Uh, whether or not they will classify the Russian investigation as well, uh, not legit. Well, I guess. Time will tell on that as well because Comey was involved in that also. Could this be a ploy for that? I don't know. But we know uh, that they definitely want Donald Trump out of office. We know that they uh, want to remove him. They want to take him out. I know there's even stuff underway to, uh, well, let's check his mental stability and see if he's fit to be a president. So they want to impeach him based off of his mental capability. Uh, it, in capabilities mentally. And that's not, I mean, that's stupid. I mean, <laughs> Who, that's what the left does, the liberal idiot left and the globalists who we are fighting. Uh, so the swamp has been drained a little more today. James Comey is fired and at least out for now, uh, but we still got some more draining to do. Hillary Clinton, I'd love to start there and with many others, uh, but here's the other thing that we need to watch out for is who's gonna take his place. Keep your eyes open. Anyhow, wanted to bring you the latest. Uh, if you like what you heard, give it a thumbs up, thumbs up and share it. Thanks again, this is Lisa Haven, signing out.